Today's message is from Lord Maitreya, entitled Live in Divine Mind. And he has set us quite a task. <clears throat> we are all equal in that we are all one in the light of God. As I speak to you, I am coming from you, for there is no separation between us. This means that I am not separate and sending information through you. That cannot be. It is time for you all to reach for that state and inhabit it in every moment. Your world is in deep strife and the way to redress this is to be anchored deep within your divinity. Most of you do achieve this spasmodically. You meditate, you pray and you relate with others from your heart with the intent to do so. However, most of the day you are following the ego mind, even if in benign fashion. It drags up the past into the present or projects your thoughts forward into a future which may be feared or anticipated with joy. It seems harmless to do this and long periods can go by without existing in the present moment. When you feel deep unwanted thoughts arising, most of you can move back into stillness because you are aware of the inherent danger of allowing the onward progress to painful and distressing feelings. I am asking you now to go further than ever before and be centered in your divine essence all day long. It is a big ask, but necessary now if you are to collectively heal your world, to where peace and love are the primary focus of all beings. Check in with yourself frequently to note where your mind is. When you are preparing food, cleaning, gardening or shopping, be fully in that moment. When you succeed, the stillness is profound and the action of the moment flows with ease and grace. There is a timeless quality to the action. When you are driving your car, the mind usually takes you elsewhere instead of being still. You have no need to focus on the art of driving for that awareness is already programmed into your subconscious. There is only a need to be in the now moment as you go. Perhaps feeling gratitude for the beauty around you with awareness of your oneness with all. Dear friends, please make an effort to disallow the ego voice. The beloved has taught that you can obliterate its negative voice 
and for it only to be of use to warn you of real danger. The divine within is more powerful than the little mind. Choose to give the ego no voice, however benign it may seem. So that is quite a challenge. I tried it driving back from the beach this morning. It, the effect is wonderful when you manage it, but it's so easy to slip out. <laughs> Still, we are being asked to step it up. So everybody, let's do our best. Thank you all for being here and for being the love that you are.